Hi, my name is Cameron Shelgi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a toy car garage with a shoebox. This is a shoebox I will be using. It is smaller than your normal shoebox, but any size works. So we can start with the materials required. Um, just need to figure out how to like switch the camera. Right, I can't figure it out, but scissors, glue, colored pencils, Sharpie, paper, and one sec, a ruler. Now, this is a funny ruler, but it'll do. Alright, um, step two. It's gonna be to cut this thing off right here. This is where the scissors come into play. Uh, I really can't figure out how to make this reverse, but <coughs> yeah, we're gonna try to do that. Um, this might take a little bit. Wish me luck. Uh. Alright, well, that is step one, so, yeah, before I do that, I'm going to explain what I just did. So, I cut this part off, that's because when you're opening the toy garage, you want it to be, like, even at the bottom, so it can just be a little easy, like, open, you know, so, yeah, that's why I did that. Um, step two is going to be to make the two garage doors. So, um, I'm going to explain that in the next video because I switched to Snapchat and Snapchat has like shorter videos. So yeah, what's up guys? All right. So the next step is going to be to measure the width of this. So I'm going to do that right now. And it is... About 11 inches, so like 5.5 would be half. We're going to use our Sharpie to make a little mark to find it, sorry. So, there, and my mom said if I get Sharpie on my bed, she's going to kill me, so I need to be careful, but... At this mark, we're going to cut it, cut it in half. Alright guys, so we're going to move on to the next step, which is uh, making the garage doors. Which is basically just cutting this thing in half. So, like two garage doors for our two cars, Lightning McQueen and this guy. To, they can, like, drive in there. Alright, so, wish me luck. That's done. Um, okay. So it's good. Now we have like two garage doors. So you can see. Alright. What's up guys? Um the next step is gonna be to like tape like this or glue this paper around it so we can you know like draw on it and stuff and make it look good but I'm not too good at that so I'm gonna ask my mom to do it and I'll be back when that's done
Okay, so we finished wrapping the box. Besides the sides, we will get to that in a later step. Next, what we're going to do is cut out a little door on the side here for a person to go in. We will do that by using the scissors. Make them like this. And give me a sec. Alright, so I'm back in my workstation. Um, before you cut out the door, um, make an outline with your Sharpie of like how big you want the door to be. So I'm just going to do that real quick. This just makes it easier for when you're cutting it out, it's something to follow. So you can see, I did it right there. All right. So hopefully I don't hurt myself. All right. Um, I saw in the last video, you can really see what I was doing, but you can see here, I'm basically just taking my scissors and like cutting down the lines just um two of them don't like cut it all the way out because then it won't be a door um it's hard to like there all right now you can kind of see me doing it it's really hard and scary I don't want to you know, cut myself. Alright. Um. Uh, Alright. Um. I'll show you the finished product for this part. Alright. Now that the door is done, you can see it works. The next step is going to be to glue on pictures to make this garage seem more industrial alright so the next step is going to be to draw garage doors here so you google a picture of garage doors I'm going to use this one but you can use whichever ones you want so you just basically look at it and then draw what you see um, I'm going to draw this to the best of my ability you can watch me do it for a little bit. I'm gonna go for gray. And okay. So, alright, I'm gonna start with like windows. And yeah, you basically see what I'm doing here. So, yeah, you'll see when I'm done. Alright, so I finished industrializing the front of the garage. Now I'm going to sorry, glue pictures of graffiti on the back. Next, we're going to color the roof black with a black pencil. So I will show you for like one second me doing that. Right. Next, we're going to Google a picture of brick wall, print it out, and then glue it on the side. Okay, so now we're going to cut it out so it fits the side here. Um, what I'm going to do is just like fold it down, and the parts that are like overlapped, I'm going to cut out. And the video is very long now, so I'm going to cut it. Okay, so final step on the side with the door, you're going to write the title of your company right like above the door. And that's it. And you will be done. Alright, um, this is the final product right here. Okay, so, um, here are the doors decoration on the bottom 
Just the side with the door. Cameron's car garage. Do slash enter. And you can just do that. Do that. The side has brick. Graffiti. And then a black top. Finally, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.